the beauty of work and the beauty of hard work is that you figure out more of what you want out of life. One of the, the hardest experiences I had in my athletic career was in Athens, Greece. We were in Athens, Greece, 2004. We hadn't lost a rowing race for, for two and a half years. We were hailed as this golden crew. We were coming in to win an Olympic medal. A bunch of guys training in this you know, little-known lake in the, some western corner of Canada, coming out on the world stage, going to bring home glory for Canada. And we fell apart. We broke apart. We cracked. The pressure was too much for us. You could see the cracks forming, I suppose, in retrospect, you know, the year before as people lost motivations, people um, weren't, weren't as committed to, to the goal, and it showed. And we had a saying in rowing that gold medals are awarded in the summer, but they're earned in the winter. And that winter, we just let everything go. We fell apart and it was sad. I remember crossing the finish line and there we were, eight big guys. We were all crying. We were all wearing spandex. <laughs> and it was one of those things, you just, you felt really bad. And I suppose people can say, well, it was just a sport. You know, it was just some, you know, it was just a sporting event. But at the end of the day, it was everything. It was our entire life. It encompassed our entire life. You know, the same point in time, I can come back to you and I can say, well, it was, it was just a marriage. It was just your kid. Or it was just a crop that failed. Right? It was just your finances. Right? Life moves on. But at the same point in time, it hurts. I remember all these people would come up to us and they would they'd try to cheer us up and no one could. And the person who ended up cheering us up was this German scholar. His name was Marcel Hacker. And Marcel was... Um, he was slated to win something. He was supposed to be on the podium in the single skull. And he comes up to us. He didn't even uh, get, make the A final. He finished seventh or eighth. He comes up to us and says, Ah, I see you boys did not do so good. Like, yeah, Marcel, I see you didn't do so well either. And he nods and he looks at me and he's like, Yeah, sport is scheiße. <laughs> And this whole idea of commiseration was the, was the one thing that actually made us feel good in the moment, of just feeling more sad. And I think that's important. It, we learned this process going through this massive failure of reflecting, learning, growing, so that we could then let go of the guilt, let go of the shame that comes with a big failure. And like I said, the first stage is reflecting. Just give yourself the permission to feel you know, open yourself up and step into it. Too often we want to move past those bad feelings because they don't feel good. But a funny thing happens when you do step into the bad feelings, you actually learn a heck of a lot more. And when we do learn, and when we do learn deeply, because the best learning comes when it's associated with emotion, we can then create a new habit. And so if we've felt it, we've intellectualized it, and we've created a new habit, it becomes very easy to let it go. For example, in my grease recycling company, one of, my, um, one of my grease collectors, he's an alcoholic. He just doesn't drink anymore. And for him, he's gone through this process of reflecting, learning, growing, and letting go. To him, he's grateful for the experience. He's grateful for having dealt with this addiction. Because it's given him a connection, a connection to the higher power. It's given him deeper purpose in his life, given him more meaning. And dealing with this failure has made him stronger. And I think it's important that we, we recognize that failure can be a stepping stone. You know, and you'll see there'll be a lot of chatter around there, I suppose, about the importance of failure. And you hear about it a lot. And I think the reason why we talk about failure so much is because if we use failure properly and we use it correctly, it can be a stepping stone to a, to a bigger life. I think it's important that we reflect, learn, grow, so that we can let go. Again, not have that ball and chain of guilt and shame that we're dragging along with us of these things that we failed in the past.